FNAF World has a wide variety of items you can collect, but none are more well known than their chips. So in this video, I will be ranking all 21 FNAF World chips from worst to best. Firstly, I will be ranking these chips on which ones I find to be the most useful, so just because a chip can be strong or useful in one situation, doesn't mean it will be useful long term. And secondly, remember, this is just all my opinion. But feel free to leave a comment telling me your favourite and least favourite FNAF World chip. So with that, thank you so much for 22,000 subscribers, and let's get into the video. Now starting off this list, we have Run Luck. Now don't get me wrong, this chip does have its use, and I think it's safe to say that every single chip on this list does have its purpose, but I personally have found the least amount of use from Run Luck. While it can have its use, I find that the mechanic of running from fights is overall pretty pointless in FNAF World, which makes this chip have the least amount of use for you. Quick Start Party is a pretty basic chip, allowing you to get the surprise on your opponent. Now this does sound pretty good, and it's not actually that bad of a chip to use. I just don't actually find it all that useful, since the amount of time you actually get to attack before the enemy does is so minimal, that it honestly isn't even worth it besides like the very early game. But it does the job at the start. Head Start Defense is the first of the Head Start chips, which give you a small boost in a certain stat, in this case, Defense. Now this isn't a bad chip at all, especially early game, but personally, I find that the boost in Defense is pretty much useless since by the time the enemies attack you consistently, the boost has worn off. I don't find much use for this besides maybe some early game bosses if you don't have any other chips available. Block Jump Scare is one of the two block chips in the game, and out of the two, I find Block Jump Scare to be the least useful of the two. For starters, Jump Scare is a pretty easy ability to block usually just by switching teams. And secondly, Jump Scare is not only a pretty weak move, but it's normally used by enemies that are pretty weak as well. The strongest enemy with Jump Scare from my knowledge is Bubba, so yeah, I don't know if it's all that useful. Unless you're scared of Jump Scares. The second head start chip on our list, we have the strength version. This chip gives you a small strength boost at the start of the battles, and this definitely has more use than defense. However, I still don't find it all that useful overall, and while it's not a bad chip to have, especially considering how easy it is to get this chip, I just can't put it any higher than it is. Evercomet Week is the first of the Evercomet chips. This chip causes comets to rain down from the sky and damage enemies, which is a fine ability for sure. However, because of how little damage these comets do, I can't put this any higher than it is on the list. The last of the Head Start chips, Head Start Speed is by far the most useful, as speed is a massive advantage in a fight, allowing you to get more hits in and use more healing abilities which makes it better than both strength and defense in most cases. However, because this is a temporary effect, I can't put it any higher on the list. But don't worry, it'll be back. Counterbite is an interesting ability in that every single attack an enemy makes on you, a counterbite attack is used on the enemy. So basically, if you survive long enough, the enemy will just kill themselves. However, as strong as this chip is, I honestly just don't find it to be that useful, and it's not really that fun to use. This is the stronger version of the Evercomet chip, and it's pretty good. However, in terms of multiple damage chips, I find this one to be the least useful, just because it's a bit harder to get than some of the other chips, and it just doesn't do as much damage as the others either. But it's still a really good chip. The second of the block chips, Block Unscrew is definitely a lot more useful compared to its Jump Scare counterpart. Considering Unscrew from enemies is a guaranteed hit, having this chip is super useful when facing off against enemies with this move. However, because not every enemy has this move, I can't put it any higher than it is already, but it's definitely a great chip to have in your arsenal when needed. The Endless chips are similar to the Head Start chips, except that you get the buff for the entire fight rather than just the start. 
This lets the effects have a lot more use since they never actually leave. However, out of all the endless chips, I find the strength variant to be the least useful, since by the time you get to acquiring this chip, you'll probably have leveled up your team enough that it doesn't even matter all that much how much damage you can do. However, it is still a really good chip to have overall. For the start of the top 10, we have Endless Defense, which is an absolutely goaded chip. Defense is a lot more useful than Strength, and the only reason this chip is where it is on the list is because when you have moves like Gift Boxes in the game, which just allow your whole team to survive hits or completely revive, the ability to take some extra hits doesn't work in your favour, and for that, Endless Defense gets number 10 on the list. Pizza Fury is the first of the Fury chips, and it is very good, pretty high damage, although this is personally a biased thing as the other Fury chip I like way more since it's way easier to get and it does more damage, and for that, I have nothing else to say. Enjoy number 9. Auto Regen is one of the easier chips to get, considering it's literally right in front of you after Brow Boy, almost like it's a reward for beating him, and boy is it a good one. This ship allows you to basically infinitely heal throughout fights, which is really good. If only it wasn't useless on bosses like the Owl and Scott who can just one shot you regardless. But overall this is a very good ship to have in your moveset. Next up we have Auto Mimic, a chip that allows you to have the Mimic Ball move permanently as part of your moveset. This chip basically allows you to use any move twice in a row. You use Unscrew and the ball repeats the Unscrew attack. It's a very useful chip to have, and to be honest, the only downside is that this move makes your whole team move at the speed of, well, it's, okay, it makes your team move super slow. And it also makes it harder to switch teams, but overall, it's still a very good chip. Now, in my video ranking the FNAF World characters, I heavily critiqued characters who had debuff abilities, and a lot of you guys called me out because you said that debuffs are awesome. And here's the thing. I completely agree, however they are pretty much useless when you have this chip in your arsenal, as this chip automatically applies your enemies with all 3 debuff moves, which is awesome especially since it allows you to focus on attacks and healing without needing to debuff the enemy. While I can see the preference in using characters to manly apply debuffs when they're needed, I find this way more enjoyable to play with, and for that it gets the number 6 spot on our list. Fatal Fury is the slightly stronger brother of the Pizza Fury chip that actually answers the phone. In all seriousness, this chip is way easier to get than Pizza Fury, and as a result, experiencing the benefits is something that you actually get to do. Fettles is one of my favourite moves in the game, which is probably biased, and having a chip that constantly spews his amazing attack just makes this chip both a joy to use and an essential on a growing team. Now for the top 4, which are the chips that I think every player should use throughout a playthrough. First of these is Auto Gift Boxes. We all know Gift Boxes, one of the strongest moves in all of Final Fantasy's world. Able to completely revive your team from death. Well, what if I told you that there was a chip that lets you start your fight automatically with Gift Boxes? Well, that's exactly what this chip does, and it's an absolutely fantastic chip to acquire, and considering that you can get this chip very, very early game if you so desire, it's a great backup as you progress, and even taking on the final bosses. Now granted, once you get a character who actually uses gift boxes, this move becomes a little bit less useful, but it's still amazing to have nonetheless. If this ability constantly refreshed gift boxes, it would no doubt have the number one spot on this list, but that would also be insanely overpowered, so I do understand why this wasn't the case. However, despite all that, I think this chip is amazing and deserves this spot on the list. Endless Speed is the last of the Endless Chips, and look, having speed on the entire fight is an absolutely massive advantage, allowing you to be constantly moving without getting screwed over by not being able to move. Now look, this chip doesn't always save you, but it's an absolutely amazing buff to have on your team, and one of the more powerful buffs too. Overall, this chip deserves a bronze, however, these next two chips basically change the entire game. Auto Shield is probably the chip that you will have equipped the entire game without fail. It's such an overpowered chip, creating a shield that blocks enemy attacks by half 
and completely blocks energy moves like Alarm, which can completely wipe your team. This shield allows you to take a ton of damage and basically never die. It's an absolute essential and pairing this ship with a powerful team allows you to be practically invincible. Now, you may be asking yourself, Jedekai, you talk so highly of this ship, but it's only number 2 on this list. What could possibly be better than this? Well, let's find out. So here we are, fine characters. Now this ship doesn't have any immediate benefits, but it does by far have the most useful ability in the entire game. This ship basically completely ups the chance that you will encounter an unlockable character. And this allows you to get characters both faster and makes it more likely you'll get some amazing characters, even in lesser character filled areas. The benefits of multiple characters completely outshines any chip before it. And for that, the fine characters ship gets the number one spot and is crowned the best ship in Fart Freddy's world. So there we are, all 21 chips from Fart Freddy's world ranked from worst to best. If you enjoyed this video, be sure to like and subscribe, and please let me know if you agree or disagree with my list in the comments below. Check out this video where I rank every single FNAF World character. You'll love it, especially if you love this video. Thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you in the next video.